hey guys what's up so this is the third video of excel coding where you have a requirement you want to read the entire data of your excel sheet so how do you achieve that right so again uh, we need to follow some coding and we need to use some of the method of apache poi to read all the data from the excel sheet so before jumping into that this is brief about me. I come from a technical background and I am from Bihar I have my Facebook page and YouTube channel. So you guys can subscribe my channel and ask the questions on my Facebook page. Let me first before starting with the coding part, let me show you the Excel sheet. So you have the Excel sheet. You want to read the entire data of your Excel sheet. So this is all the data you want to read. So how do you do that? And this comes under test report, right? Which is nothing but your second sheet of your workbook. Remember, this is the second sheet. This is the first sheet. This is the second sheet. Sheet start from the zero. So this is the zero index, and this is the first index. Now, you guys can create one Maven project. If you don't know how to create a Maven project, you can go and you can check in my Selenium playlist, uh, the basic Selenium tutorial where I have shown how to create a Maven project. Once you have the Maven project ready, what you guys need to do is you guys need to add this two dependency in your pom.xml. And then do right click on pom.xml, right click, right click, run install. Okay, so you can do here right click, run Maven install, the dependency will get downloaded. And then again, right click on the project here, right click, go to the Maven, and then you know, do update project, right? And update the project so your project will be ready for the coding. Now, the coding is very simple here, coding uh, it will not take much time. So, since this Excel sheet present at the project level, so I don't need to supply the path, I can just give demo.xls. So, I'm making the object of file input stream. Why I'm making the object of file input stream? Because I need to read the data from the file. And as we know that file input stream will take the object of file. So, we are creating the object of file, and the file object will take the path of your Excel sheet. And since this Excel is present at the project locations, I don't need to give the path. I just need to give the name of the Excel sheet. Then I'm creating the workbook of the file. So for this file, I'm creating a workbook. From the workbook, I'm doing that get sheet of zero. So I'm going to do get sheet of one because for the second sheet, I want to read the entire data. Now, once you have a sheet, okay, it has a method called sheet dot iterator. So basically, it will give you the row iterator like it will give you the number of rows present in the number of active rows the number of rows which has a data in the excel sheet right so when you do c dot iterator basically it will give you the uh, iterator i mean row of iterator then you you have the iterator now and as we know that in the core java iterator has three method has next has next next right so basically it has two method has next next and uh, Remove, yeah, it has three methods. Remove. So now on this iterator, if it has data, so when we say row iterator dot has next, which means when it has a data, then row iterator dot next. So basically, it will return the first row and pointer will move to the second row. Okay, it will give you the first row and pointer will move to, move to the second row. Now you got a row. So what row has? Row has cell right row has some data and where the data has in the row in the cell so now you have to on the row you have to call the method called cell iterator so basically this will give you the number of cell present in the row now let's say in one row you have three cell if you look at your excel sheet it clearly says that one row has three cell zero one two three cell so when you have a three cell you are again making the iterator of cell and then if the cell has a data if the cell has iterator means active cell means the cell which has a data so if it has next then cell iterator dot next so again same thing will happen it will return the data of the cell and the pointer will move to the next cell now if the cell whatever we got if it is of type numeric if it is of numeric type right we can have any type then print cell dot get cell numeric data if it is of a string type get the string data here you can add more like cell dot cell type boolean formula you can add based on your requirement right 
Now this while loop will continue for three times. Why three times? Because you have three cell in the row. Then once the internal while loop will close for the first row, again it will come here and again uh, for second row actually it will go. Again for second row it will go and it will continue. So that's how you can read the data in the Excel sheet. Okay. So this code will be available to my uh, location, a uh, git locations. So let me do one thing. Let me uh, let me commit this code. And it will be available to my same hybrid framework. Yeah, so code has been published there and when you guys go here, you can see that in that SRC, if you go to main Java, you have Excel tutorial and here you can see that read data from the Excel sheet. So this guy will read the data and in fact, I will run this code and I can show you run a Java applications. We can see that all data, see, we can see that all data is available here. So log into the applications, register, log into the applications, registrations, pass, payment, fail and cancel, pass, right. So look at here, here, pass, fail, pass, right. And this, if you want to make integer guys, you have to use integer, either you format this or convert to the integer. Otherwise, it will consider as an a string and it will read as an a string. Now let me cancel this and again let me rerun see here okay that code is coming here so that that actually you can form it okay so all the data is getting read here right so thank you guys thank you for watching this i will publish this uh, video to my youtube location so that you guys will be able to see my video and please subscribe my channel and like my video